today we are going to talk about the trans theoretical model of behavior change so in your sixth edition book this comes in chapter 3 which is principles of behavior change so the trans theoretical model is one of the most important sections in this enti entire chapter and your ace curriculum as well and i know a lot of you guys are struggling with this a lot of you guys are not able to make sense and it's very overwhelming to read through the book especially chapter 3 it's a long chapter right so i know it's a little overwhelming so let me try and see how much i can you know make it easier for you so let me explain at least the trans theoretical model so that you don't have to go over that entire section in the book and you can just watch this video and understand what exactly it is and also understand what kind of questions they might ask you on the exam cool cool all right principles of behavior change so this is all about psychology this is all about coaching right because being an a certified trainer is not just about giving people you know some programs good exercises but also to coach help them stick to an exercise program right which means this is a very important topic they are going to ask you questions on this so let's just jump right into it so the trans theoretical model of behavior change which is also called as stages of change talks about the stages the stages that a client goes through okay not you not you my friend you are the trainer here right the stages that your client goes through so your client goes through a couple of stages pre contemplation contemplation preparation action maintenance these are the five stages that your client goes through not just your client pretty much everyone right so if i have to explain it in a very simple fashion so let's say right now you're studying for ace right that's why you're watching this video or probably you're thinking about you know studying for ace so what stages do you go through when you're studying for ace your first stage is you're not even considering doing ace i'm sure all of you guys were at that stage once upon a time where you were not even considering that you will be getting into this industry let alone doing ace right so what stage was that that was pre contemplation what does the word contemplation mean thinking right that's what it means contemplate to think so pre contemplation means pre thinking like you're not even thinking you're not even considering to do ace that is pre contemplation stage contemplation stage is when you are considering to do a certification right this is probably that stage where you were probably looking up on youtube which is better should i go for ace or should i go for nasm or should i go for acsm or should i do something else right so right now you're weighing the pros and cons like will ace be beneficial for me or will nasm be more beneficial for me which one which one has more reputation which one is more tough which one, which one is more you know beneficial for my career so what is all these questions weighing right you're weighing the pros and cons of doing a certification like ace for example so that is contemplating or contemplation stage and then what is the next stage after that you make a decision that okay i'm going to go for ace i have decided that okay but you haven't yet enrolled in ace but you have decided you know i'm going to do ace so now you start studying you know taking bits and pieces from here and there you're probably watching some random videos on fitness certifications i mean not fitness certifications but actual stuff that is shared in ace maybe you're looking up some anatomy videos just trying to get your basics right so that you know it will be a much better experience some people will be doing some basic certifications just to know how it feels before jumping into ace so all of these things would be preparation right then comes the action stage where you are actually taking action and you have enrolled in ace you are studying consistently ace and then you book that exam slot and you give your exam this is your action stage and usually what is the time frame that uh, ace gives you ace tells you that you know within 6 months you should take the exam usually it takes 3 months for people to get completely prepared and give the exam right but the time limit is time frame is usually 6 months right so before 6 months within 6 months you have to give your ace exam so this is your action stage and then finally comes the stage where you give your ace exam you clear the certification congratulations now you are a certified trainer right and now what do you do now you have to renew your certification every 2 years 
right so now you have to do those continuing education or those small small workshops small small courses that which will give you some credit points which you're going to use to renew your certification so that is your maintenance stage now you're trying to maintain your certification ace so do you see this entire journey so this is trans theoretical model of behavior change how does it feel right now right so you can you can relate to it especially if you're studying for ace right now so you have also gone through these stages right now really quick let me put it in exercise context right Pre-contemplation is someone who is not even considering to work out. We all have that one person in our family or in our friend circle who is like, yeah, I'm not going to work out. No, workout is dangerous. It can kill you. Come on. I have seen so many things on the news that, you know, someone was working out and while working out, he got a heart attack. You know, this is dangerous. In fact, you shouldn't work out either. Just do your, you know, daily tasks and that's okay. That's fine. So these are pre-contemplators who are not even considering to work out. And then you have contemplators who are thinking, who are weighing the pros and cons of working out. Okay, what is the benefit? How many days a week should I have to work out? Right? It is, is this going to even work for me? Do I have to wake up in the morning? You know, they are weighing the pros and cons. So these are contemplators, people who are thinking or considering to start working out. Right? Then you have the preparation stage where you are, where you haven't signed up for a workout program, but you are doing something. You're probably taking your dog out for a walk, right? Every now and then you're taking some free passes and you're visiting some gyms at least, you know, maybe once a week. You're, you're inconsistent, but you're doing something. That is preparation. Now you're ready to adopt a healthy lifestyle, an active lifestyle, but you're not there yet. Okay, you are the preparation stage. Then comes the action stage, which is pretty simple. Anything that is less than six months falls in the action stage. So you are in the action stage if you are if you have been training consistently, you're working out consistently, but for less than six months. Boom, that's action stage. You are in action stage right now. And then finally, the stage is your maintenance stage. This is beyond six months. So your, your client has been training with you or working out regularly beyond six months, more than six months. That's your maintenance stage. Okay, so this is your trans theoretical model of behavior change. Now, what kind of questions can you expect from this particular section in, on your test, on your exam? So when you look at it, when you read through it, or if you understand this concept, it's, it's crystal clear. It's not like that big of a deal, right? It's okay. Probably at least now you're feeling a little okay, right? But what kind of questions can you, ex can you expect? So they might ask you some nitty gritty questions like, you know, nitty gritty details like, um, you know, people in this stage view more pros for being active. They view more advantages for being physically active. In which stage are these people? If they ask you a question like that, what would be the answer? Yeah, it's, it's the action and maintenance stage. Why? Because you're viewing more pros to being physically active. If you, in your head, if there are more pros to doing an exercise program or for being active, if you see more advantages and more benefits for being physically active, you're obviously in the action stage already. That's why you see more pros for being physically active. I repeat, more pros, you view more pros for being physically active. That's your action and maintenance stage, people. Now, if they ask you that people in this stage are weighing the pros and cons of starting an exercise program, that's easy. That's your contemplators. They are weighing the pros and cons for starting an exercise program, right? That's your contemplators. What else can they ask you? They might ask you a question like this, you know, what if uh, people in this stage view more cons to starting an exercise program? This is the exact opposite of what I asked at first. Remember, people who view more pros for being physically active, that was your action and maintenance kind of people. And now I just reversed it. People in this stage view more cons 
to being physically active or more cons to starting an exercise program who are they guess what it's not just your contemplators that's the trick it's not just your contemplator it contemplators it's your pre contemplators and contemplators they both view more cons to starting an exercise program don't they yeah you can argue that pre contemplators view more cons or they don't view any pros at all but still still both pre contemplators and contemplators view more cons to being physically active or starting an exercise program whereas action and maintenance stage people view more pros for being physically active so you might get these kind of questions or maybe they'll ask you you know if uh, they'll give you a scenario where harry is your client and he's taking his dog out for a walk he's going on a sporadic walk he's doing xyz you know small small things and he's he's kind of finally ready to adopt a healthy lifestyle in which stage is harry in so that would be your preparation stage right and sometimes your client might transition from one stage to another and it's not necessarily a progression sometimes it can be a regression what do i mean by that so let's say you you've been training with me okay you are my client and you've been training with me for quite some time now let's say for 6 months you've been training with me or for 8 months you've been training with me so clearly you are in maintenance stage right and then one fine morning you give me a call and tell me hey you know what sanjay i can't come from tomorrow i can't join you from tomorrow because things have been going really tough at my work right now so i don't think i can make it but i'll come back i'll come back whenever this thing is little you know bearable when i i have i have some things to take care of at work once these things are a little sorted i'll come back cool cool so what do you think just happened he was in maintenance stage yes but in what stage is he right now can you answer so this person right now he is in contemplation stage because what did he tell me he told me that he will come back which means he is considering to come back he is thinking about so he is thinking to come back and train with me right so he is thinking that means he is right now in contemplation stage getting it so they are transitioning from one stage to another right so you need to understand both you need to understand all the stages perfectly like really well only then you will understand what stage they are in right now and the transition that you will be able to understand and you will be able to pick up on that even i just transitioned because my memory became full so i had to literally move this video into my hard drive so that's that's the delay that you just saw here the transition that you just saw here i know first world problems right <laughs> it was i thought i thought that this would be a short video but just 12 minutes made it like 763 mb and my storage was full so i had to you know clear that up anyways uh, let me know if you found this helpful and uh, if you have any questions on this or if you want me to explain something more on this chapter just let me know and i'll make one more video on the same all right oh and by the way it's good to be back <laughs>